Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the middle of the month love reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Let's get right into your reading, Aquarius. Now when shuffling the deck, we have the second house that popped out. So we're going to keep that message and we're going to see what's coming towards you. What is going on, Aquarius? How are you guys feeling? I hope you are feeling good. There is a lot of heavy, crazy energy going on. Um, so I hope that you are, you know, just doing you and going and pushing through because that's all we have to keep doing. <laughs> Anyways, okay, in regards to love and romance, well. So we have the second house and 11th house. This is all to do with partnerships. This is speaking directly about your spiritual connection. This is, I feel that you guys are getting synchronicities. For some of you guys, there may be some type of, by the way, you may be dealing with a Virgo energy. Uh, for others of you, you may be dealing with a, a Taurus energy. I feel Earth energy very heavily. For some of you guys, a Scorpio type of energy. But the message here. We have a lot of transformations that are happening. And I think that for you guys, there was some type of opposition. Some type of blockage that you have been going through, Aquarius, in the past three to four years. And this could be directly connected to relationships. So if in the past three to four years, you have found yourself to be single... There was a lesson that had to be learned. And I feel that you're finally being able to balance that. And then the transformation happens. Virgo's card is a representation of the alchemist. And this is to do with, you know, ritualistic energy. Manifestations, believing in yourself, knowing that you have the power. And I think that for some of you guys going into relationships in the past, it could have almost felt like at some point you felt like you kind of were losing your way in the relationship. And that either triggered you, scared you, or make you run for the hills. Or the moment you had to put in effort and energy, you kind of said, you know what? It's not worth it because I've been through this in the past. So you gave up. And what they're telling you here is that there is a complexity energy within you. There is a part of you that wants a relationship. There is a part of you that wants, you know, a partnership, a relationship. Uh, you're equal. But there's another part to you that fears losing yourself in a relationship. So there is a lot of give and pull or pull and take type of energy here. And I think that that has greatly affected the past relationships. But I do see an earth energy coming through or perhaps you are already putting your eyes on this specific person, this specific individual. Um, it could be an earth energy. It could be a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. For others of you, it could be a Scorpio. But I definitely do see that there is, it's almost like what they're showing me here. Let me show you guys. What they're showing here is, opposition right the balance the exchange of power that comes with partnerships but it's almost like a mirroring effect so i feel that the person you have sights on or your sights on i should say could be of equal energy this could be a person that is your equal it could be something or someone that you've been hoping to find for quite a while and I feel that this person has a lot of, like, they are multidimensional. So what I mean by that is this is definitely not a person that thinks like the rest of humans. <laughs> so what I mean is this could be a person that could be very eccentric. This could be a person that perhaps has alchemist type of energy. This could be... Uh, a person that is in the practice or a person that is extremely spiritual. Uh, this is a person that brings a lot of the uh, 
a lot of the manifestation, a lot of thinking outside the box type of personality. And I feel that their complexity, um, it's very dif difficult for you to pin them down. And I feel that this is what greatly intrigues you about them. And like I said, they are telling me this is your equal. So if you've been single for quite a while, you may not be single for very long. But here's the thing. What they're telling you here with the balance card and your 12th and 11th house, you need to be more assertive in putting yourself out there or letting know, letting uh, this person know that you're interested in them. Because I see them almost oblivious to you. Or I see them extremely like like being busy that they're not purposely ignoring you, but they're also not aware that you're interested in them. Um, now, if this is a person that you have yet to meet, you may meet them around the month of October. Or there may be some type of heavy communication, like a deep conversation that happens, and it happens in or around October. What they're telling me here is that there is transformative energy that's happening. And a lot of you guys had to go through certain situations and circumstances that really question your beliefs. So what I mean by that is if you've been stuck on I'm never going to get married, all of a sudden you start wondering or you start questioning is this something that I definitely want to, like, this is an, uh, uh, pretty much a uh, no-go for me? Or would I be open to the, uh, the idea? I see your mind quickly shifting, Aquarius, like you guys are constantly debating to yourselves, within yourselves, your beliefs. And the reason for that is because you have the 2nd and 11th house highlighted here. But I definitely do see you guys being assertive or getting to the point of being assertive and making a decision. And if you already know who this person is, I definitely see you guys taking the leap. Now, for those of you guys that are in a committed relationship, again, you may be questioning a lot of things about the relationship. You may be questioning if the love is still there. If you guys are still connected the way you guys were at some point in your life in this relationship, you're questioning, is it enough to want to continue this relationship? Pluto brings a lot of transformation, but with transformation, it's renewal, and you can't have renewal without endings. So this is something to keep in mind. Now, let's see what your energies are for this month or the remaining of this month. Okay. Worthy. Questioning your worth or questioning the people that you've chosen to date or questioning the people that you've settled with. Did you choose them or did you settle? These are all questions that you're internalizing, uh, Aquarius. I almost said Capricorn. <laughs> you also have recognition. Recognition could represent you getting attention or you being able to give that person your attention or I should say undivided attention. Maybe you're questioning if you feel you're worthy for this person. There's something about this person that intrigues you, but there may also be something within this person that intimidates you. And you have music. You may connect with this person musically perhaps have the same taste in music or you may find that music is soothing you from now all the way to october because you feel like it helps you deal with what's going on internally pay attention to that because i feel that what they're telling me is that spirits are trying to communicate with you through music And here's the thing. I feel that for some of you guys, the person that you're interested in may get a lot of attention. And that could be the reason why you're questioning, like, would they even be interested? But what they're saying is you have to be fearless in your confidence and believing in yourself. 
Oftentimes, you don't attract people with the physical. You attract people by your confidence or the energy that you bring. Yes, you are worthy, Aquarius. Take that leap. Believe in yourself. And if you don't know who the cards are speaking to you about right now, you will in October. Believe in yourself. I hope you guys enjoyed this reading and we'll see each other soon. Bye.